Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this car tech video. In this video, we are going to do a demonstration uh, and a review and a comparison between the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit and the Autel Maxicom MK808 kit. Um, two very good diagnostic packages um, and I'm going to put the links to both of these kits in the description below this video uh, or you can pick them up at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com uh, as I say, I'll put the link to these kits in the description below this video. Now, if you're, if you're buying one of these tools or you're considering buying one of these tools, I think it's, um, it's quite important for you to understand which tool is best for you. And at the end of the video, what I'll do is I'll put, a, I'll put my recommendation for which tool I think is the best uh, or which tool is the best for my particular needs. Obviously, everybody's needs are different, you see. Um, so what we've got here is we've got the CR Pro actually plugged into the vehicle. We've got the Maxicom MK808 using the battery which is installed. That's how we've got the screens of both of these kits on at the same time. And there, there are a lot of differences and I'm going to run through those. So first of all, I think the first thing to talk about is obviously, well, we've mentioned it, where to buy them. Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com. Links are below this video. Um, with whether it comes to wireless or whether it's uh, a wired tool itself, um, although this one gives the impression that it's a wireless tool, it's actually, you actually do require a wired connection, which is just this cable here and the cable plugs in right there. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so is, the, uh, so is the CR Pro. The CR Pro also requires a cable. Um, there is a version of this tool which is about £100 more expensive um, and it is a wireless version. You plug a dongle into the OBD2 port, um, but that is called the Maxicom MK808BT. This is just the standard MK808, so you do need to plug a cable in at the top there and run the other end of the cable into the diagnostic port. So none of these kits are wireless, they all require um, a cable. Now when it comes to the tool itself, this is a tablet version, so this is obviously, um, it's not only a diagnostic tool, but it can also double up as a, as a tablet. It's an Android tablet, so you can, say for example, you could go online and you could start surfing the web. There's gonna be no internet connection to this right now, because we're not in a place with internet connection, but you know, you could do that and you could download any other apps that are on the, uh, the Android um, app store. Uh, this one here is just a standalone unit. You don't get any internet access to this um, So, you know, this is purely only specifically designed to plug into a vehicle and actually diagnose vehicles um, What else have we got? Vehicle coverage. Let's go with vehicle coverage. This has very good vehicle coverage. This has immense vehicle coverage so if we just show you here, we can click onto the diagnostics of this screen. In fact, what I'm going to do first of all is click on the setup. And there is a quite an annoying beep which you can just get rid of. So I'm going to click into diagnostics. And these are the manufacturers that it will cover. Alright, so we've got Mini, uh, BMW, Mini, Land Rover, Jaguar, Mercedes, Smart, Sprinter, VW, Audi, Skoda, Seat, Porsche, Volvo, Saab, Opel, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, Lancia. Peugeot, Citroen, Renault, Dacia, General Motors, Jeep and Chrysler, Ford, Holden, Toyota, Lexus, Sion, Nissan, Infiniti, Acura, Honda, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Isuzu, Suzuki, Kia, Hyundai and Deu. Now when it comes to the Maxicom, we can, we've got pretty much all of those cars plus additional cars. So the additional cars, um, everything there is covered on the other one. We've also got Bugatti, anyone's lucky enough to have a Bugatti, Bentley, LT3, Volkswagen commercial vehicles, uh, Mercedes commercial vehicles, Maybach, um, do, 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 Sangyong, Maruti Suzuki, Peroda, Proton, Tata, Samsung, Mahindra, Nissan GDR, Cherry, BYD, Brilliance, BIAC, DFSK, DF, whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever that is. I'm sure there was also Lamborghini, but I, I can't seem to find it. Oh yes, Lamborghini, 
at the top there. So that's the vehicle coverage for your main diagnostic. So if you wanted to go in and diagnose like an engine, uh, airbag, transmission, ABS light, that's where you'd go. <clears throat> now special functions, so the special functions are things like kind of do DPF regeneration. Now this is where the two tools differ quite a lot. Let's have a look at the special functions which are available on the CR Pro Kit. So we've got oil service reset, we've got electronic parking brake, we've got battery, new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, DPF regeneration, ABS brake bleeding and injector coding. One thing I should have said is that this is not touch screen. You need to actually toggle through the menu with these buttons. This here is obviously touch screen as you can see. So those are the special functions that you will get with the CR Pro, which is a good level depending on what you need. You know, like I say, if say for example, you've got a few cars of your own, you're an enthusiast or a small workshop, then by all means, you know, these will probably cover your needs. But when it comes to the Maxi, uh, Maxicom MK808, let's have a look at the service things it will do here. Oil reset, electronic park and brake, TPMS, that's tire pressure modeling system, BMS, new battery registration, brake bleeding, um, DPF regeneration, immobilizer for new keys, injector coding, steering angle sensor, suspension calibration, throttle control, uh, windows, doors and roofs, seats, odometer so that this will do mileage correction on a very, very limited amount of vehicles, uh, lane change system, Headlamp adjustment, tire changing size, TEC learn, ABS, SRS, and airbags. So these are like injector coding, uh, not injector coding, uh, e ECU um, implementation or relearning, if you like, adaption, uh, cylinder, VGT learn, clutch, transmission, adaption, airbag, as I say, and uh, AF settings. So there's a lot more settings or a lot more actual service special functions that this tool will allow you to do so this is probably more suitable or more designed towards guys in workshops who are getting a lot of cars in and they need a lot of uh, functionality out of a tool this is more sort of like small workshop families who have a you know a, a range of cars that they need to get through or enthusiasts as well um, so when it comes to, so, I mean, what I'll do first of all actually is I'm going to do a quick demonstration of this tool. We've got an airbag light on this car and I'm just going to go through and show you a quick demonstration of the tool actually resetting. Now this tool will do it, you know, this tool will do that as well, no problem. Uh, so we'll click into diagnostics and it's just an example of how the tool works in a nutshell. So you find your vehicle, find your manufacturer, this is Porsche. Just load the Porsche software in and we just need to find our vehicle which is a Cayenne 2011 onwards to manually select the airbag system it should read us a fault code there we go one of one you get a fault code you get a description of the fault driver side airbag limit value exceeded and we can just clear that so click enter once I click enter to keep an eye on the airbag light there we go, erase operation done. So that's just a real quick example of how the tool works. Obviously from all of these systems you can get live data, lots of live data, lots of live graphing data as well. Now when it comes to support for these, vehicle, for these kits, if you had a problem with it um, and you wanted to maybe speak to the tech support teams, well this tool here, the CR Pro Kit, you have to actually email your manuf email your supplier in fact and your supplier will get in touch with iCarsoft on, on your behalf so you kind of need to s send an email to your uh, the people you bought it off and then they will go to iCarsoft so it's kind of like a three-step process with the MK808 kit um, you just need to go to support and you can set up your support network and what this basically does is allows you to uh, communicate directly with the manufacturer and they will give you all of the help, help and support you need. This is not going to load right now actually because as I mentioned earlier we're in a place where there's no internet. You do need the internet for that to take place 
but it just shows you it's very easy and much quicker to do on this particular tablet than the iCarsoft kit. Uh, with regards to printing, you can print from this tool. Um, I want to show you an example of what you could do. You can't print from this one. Um, you could go to, if we go back to home, Uh, diagnostics we want a, just a quick history of everything so that fault that we've just diagnosed there is a Porsche Cayenne oh, that's not it historical test anyway well that's this is a fault that we did get anyway ABS sensor so you can do you can send this to a PDF you and PDF should load there you go so you've got a PDF document you can add notes in along the way but also it gives you the option to print it so you can give that out to the customer so they know what was wrong with the vehicle um, this one as I say you can't do that with that uh, price now everybody is obviously you know driven by what price they are and what their budget is. So this particular kit here right now on Amazon, uh, as I guess yeah, I'll put a link in or the di or Diagnostic World is £389. This one right here is £259. So there is a hundred and maybe £120 difference between the two, but or £130 difference, but you do get a lot more with regards to this tool here. Um, power supplies. This one takes its power from the diagnostic port. It only turns on once the diagnostic, uh, once this connector is in here. Uh, obviously, you can also turn it on by selecting or uh, putting a USB in there. But obviously, you wouldn't be able to connect to the vehicle like that. This one does require to be charged. As you can see, we've got a 38% battery on this at the moment. So that's a bit of a downside, you always need to make sure this is charged. Uh, screen sizes, obviously, well, you can see for yourself, this is quite a big screen. This is quite a smaller screen. Well, it's a medium-sized screen, I would say. Uh, they both have multi-language setups. Uh, with regards to the updates, which is another important thing and another, another thing that a lot of people are interested in, this one here gives you free updates for the first year sorry the 808 gives you free updates for the first year um, after that I'm not entirely sure how much the updates are in fact um, I'll have to double check I'll put it I'll put it in the cut in the description below um, with regards to this one updates are free for life there are no subs no subscription or anything like that when it comes to this kit here so that's what another sort of benefit of having this tool over this one um, and that's about it. I mean, I guess there's probably a lot more that I've actually or updates as well updates as you can see here We've got an update option and If you want to do an update you just simply make sure it's connected to the internet like a Wi-Fi connection And you simply click on update it load the relevant updates that are the latest updates And you just click you can just select the ones you want or there's an option up here to just click uh, Update all and it's very very easy to do with this kit What you have to do is you have to download software onto your PC or laptop plug in the USB cable to your PC to underneath here and um, update the software that way. It'll get, it takes you through step by step, but it's, it's a lot easier doing it on this than it is on this. This is by no stretch of the imagination hard to do, it's just this is a lot easier. Um, <clears throat> so with regards to sort of what I think and, and which tool would be best for me, I mean, it's a, for me to give you a good answer, you, you need to really know what, what my specific needs were or my needs would be. Um, as a, a DIY, sorry, a home DIYer and an enthusiast with a few cars myself, personally I'm talking here, um, I would see no reason to go anywhere else than this tool here. This is the CR Pro Kit and it covers, as I say, it covers all systems and it covers a decent level of service functions that you would need. Yes, this covers more service functions, but how likely am I to use some of the ones on here? And in all honesty, I'm not very likely to use them because, you know, I'm only working on a few cars. If I was in a garage, on the other hand, if I had a garage to run and I had, you just never know what you're gonna get in. You're gonna get a lot of different cars in every day, needing different, different things doing to them, then by all means, this would be the kit I would go for. 
and that's that's what I would say you know if you're doing it on your own or you you've got a very small mechanics like workshop or mobile mechanic or you're an enthusiast and you work on your own cars then this is the one for you if you've got a garage environment where you've got people dropping their cars off you know they're paying for a service for you to sort their car out then I would say this is the tool for you but obviously you know everybody's circumstances and situation is different um, the best I can do is just show you the differences between the two tools and I hope I hope I've done that actually um, I'm coming to the end of the video now I think we've been on for about 15 minutes so um, it, I've gone over the a lot of time that I wanted to, to spend on this one but just a quick obviously recommendation as I say diagnostic world is the place to buy these tools because you know you're gonna get genuine tools there are fakes out there there are clone kits out there with the iCarsoft products, every single product on that website is a genuine tool. Um, so that's the place to get it, www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm going to put the link to these kits in the description below this video. Thanks very much for watching and I hope this helps.